Lesson 5.1 Algebra of Functions and Function Composition. So, in this uh, uh, lesson, we will talk about uh, simple combining functions and also the important part of a composite function. So, first of all, the regular combining functions. If there are four or uh, two functions, fx and gx, are given, then we can make four different simple calculation or combined functions. The first one is f plus gx, which means fx plus gx. And number two, f minus gx equal to fx minus gx. Third, f times gx, then this become fx time gx. Then finally, number four, f over gx, then this become fx over gx. But in this case, we need to confirm gx cannot be zero because if it is, if it is, then this whole combined function would be undefined. So, these four different cases, now we want to practice first. And now, uh, I show that only f plus g, f minus g, it doesn't mean it's always f plus g or f minus g. It can be g minus f or g times f, something like that too. Okay, then let's look at example on page 85. So given, uh, if you look at A, given fx equal to 5x minus 7 and gx equals 3 minus x. Now we want to find out f plus gx and then uh, determine its domain. So A, f plus gx. From the um, property here, f plus g means we just combine these two functions. Okay, therefore you can rewrite this fx plus gx. Then what is fx here? Yes, fx is this one, so and then gx is this one. Therefore this becomes 5x minus 7 plus 3 minus x. And then uh, you may notice that I input into the parentheses like that, right? The reason is when you uh, switch function form to expression form, you better put it into the parentheses so later uh, you, don't, you won't make any sign mistake or calculus mistake. Now open the parentheses, then become 5x minus 7 plus 3 minus x. And then you combine like term. So as you see, 5x and minus x, they are like term. So they become 4x and minus 7 plus 3. So it becomes minus 4. Therefore, we got f plus gx equal to 4x minus 4. So what kind of function form is it? This is the linear equation, therefore domain becomes x or real number. Okay, look at the uh, second one. f minus gx. So now you notice that this will be fx minus gx. So same thing. So I'm going to put this into the, into the parentheses. So fx is five x minus seven and then gx is three minus x. Okay, now 
you simplify, which means open the parentheses, then become 5x minus 7 minus 3 plus x. Okay, then combine right terms, which is 6x, and then minus 7 minus 10 become minus 10. So f minus g x also linear form therefore domain becomes x or real number okay now third one f time gx Then this becomes fx time gx. Therefore, this becomes so fx was 5x minus 7, so 5x minus 7 time 3 minus x. That was gx. Okay, now you already noticed that you need to fold them out. Okay, then this becomes 15x minus 5x squared minus 21 plus 7x. Now just write as a ascending, a descending order. Then this becomes negative 5x squared, and you combine these two, then plus 22x minus 21. So f times g, x become negative 5x squared plus 22x minus 21. So this is one of the parabola function. So domain becomes x is all real number as well. Okay, number four. We want to find out f of gx. Which means fx over gx. Okay, so there will be so 5x minus 7. Okay. And the over 3 minus x. Okay, so now we can write fx over gx that equal to 5x minus 7 over 3 minus x, right? And then here, please be careful, you cannot cancel this and this though, because they are binomial, so you cannot do that. So the remaining factor is still 5x minus 7 over 3 minus x. But here we have one limitation, which is this one, because 3 minus x cannot be 0. So you need to find out the restriction value. So as set up, 3 minus x cannot be 0. And then if you combine x both sides, then you found x cannot be 3. So that's our restricted value. Therefore, it affects domain as well. So domain can be x or real numbers but x cannot be 3 there will be domain for this function okay then simply number 5 number 5 case we are doing g over fx right so if i skip one step then it becomes 3 minus x over 5x minus 7 here. So this case, now we know this cannot be 0. Therefore, you set up 5x minus 7 cannot be 0 and then solve for x from here. Then x cannot be 7 over 5. So domain you can write x can be all real number 
but x cannot be 7 over 5. Okay?